Welcome back, everybody, once again to another episode of 60 Minutes to Lose on the Sega Genesis. Sorry, I was looking at my cat over there. He's being, being beautiful and majestic. Beautiful cat. Uh, the show where we see how far we can get through a game in 60 minutes. Today's episode is Last Battle, developed and published by Sega. No shock there. All is not well with the world. A great war had devastated the land and a nefarious power to establish an empire where the good people are, are treated like slaves. But there was hope. The mighty Arzak and his uh, companions, Lewis and Mac Bennett, together to reclaim their homeland using the secret martial art of Taekwondo. Arzak went to battle against the Duke Master of Taekwondo in the end. Arzak was... Oh. Okay, it goes way too fast, turns out. I can read it with just my eyes, but I can't talk that fast. So we're just going to skip that, right? Legend of the Final Hero. Isn't this called Last Battle? Oh yeah, it is. Now, in Japan, this was a Fist of the North Star game. It was actually a direct sequel to the Master System's Black Belt, which was also a Fist of the North Star game <laughs> over there. So uh, let's see how this pans out for us, shall we? Oh, here we go. We're a big beefy man. It's like, okay, kick, punch, jump. Easy enough. Now, I have, uh... I've heard pray tell that this game is not particularly incredible, so we'll we'll find out, I guess. I believe people when they say that. You know, I, I don't have any reason to doubt them. Although, I did see that one website had it listed as the second worst Genesis game of all time. Or, sorry, Mega Drive game, because they were all European. And I, I can't help but feel that that's probably going to be a little bit of an exaggeration. Now, I know that. Rankings like that are all subjective. My rankings are not going to be uh, what other people believe. I wanted you to meet Alyssa. Now you, ha now you have the look of a hero. Or is it now you have the look of a hero? Ooh, look at this. We do have a little map, though. So do we want to go to the city or the Colosseum? Uh, the Colosseum is probably cooler. Look at this. We look like a little chess piece. Hmm, I instantly regret my decision. Although this guy appears to be... A, a pushover so far. Well, no, never mind. He, he hit me. Oh, no. I hit him once, got a real good hit in, and now I can't do anything against him. Oh, there we go. Just just wait for him to come in, sucker him in, and then kick him in the shin. There's, al there's always a tactic, you see. Oh, doesn't always work, though. Sometimes you can't sucker him in properly. There we go, just like that. Just gotta, just gotta play it light and loose, you know? Oh, I don't know if, uh, yeah. A good old Superman punch doesn't work so well. Don't, don't try to go for an aerial punch. Ooh, that jump! That, uh, butterfly kick, though, that was pretty good. Alright, we've beaten him. We lost quite a bit of health. You know, it's funny, despite not having the Fist of the North Star license, the character portrait in the lower left does actually look a lot like, uh, old Ken. Kenshiro. That's his name, right? Oh, we can go all the way up there. Nah, I'd rather f uh, follow the road. Because I'm lame. Alright, bring on the enemies. So far, very basic. I'm more of a Kung Fu style beat em up than a River City Ransom style. Makes sense, Black Belt was the same way. We did gain some health. We're not taking a ton of damage from these enemies, which is a blessing. We're still taking a little bit, but obviously we want to preserve health as much as humanly possible. Oh, I couldn't duck over that one, huh? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Look at that, they take their shot and then they run away. Cowardly bastards. What's the matter? I want to become a hero. I see. Great plot, clearly. Let's go down here. Uh, we didn't really regain much health that time. That's not good. Ah, I see. We always have to jump over this... Some very basic level platforming here. And when I'm... And when I mean basic... I mean basic. <laughs> I was just gonna say, at least I'm able to clear the rocks. And then behold, I didn't clear the rock properly. Okay, so sweet. We can in fact go through doors. Which gives us the exciting task of fighting people. I was gonna say, either that's a death, 
or just brings you down to another location. I'm glad it brought me down to another location. Let's go through this door. We'll fight more spear boys. Okay, we do have more reach with our punch. This is a rarity with this style of game. Oh, what did you want me to do there? Manage that, though. And then we just, uh, oh, look at that, we jump up to the next level here. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I, I saw that coming. Not enough to dodge it properly, but... You see the slightest sign of a spike above you. And you know you're, you're in for a rough time. I guess we'll just drop here. We can't go in there, so there's nothing to, there's nothing to be had there. Boot them all away. And then I guess we'll just go down this hole. See if this is anything advantageous for us. Uh, uh, <laughs> can I punch these away? Like, is that the idea? Am I supposed to punch the axes away? If I am, then I've failed drastically. Oh my goodness. Look how far we've dropped. It's all fun and games until you're in the mazy level. Then it's even more fun. It's a Saturday, as of the time of the recording of this. Okay, you can't in fact punch them away. Well, now I feel really dumb. That one just, uh, is out of my range. Nothing I can say in my defense besides that. Uh... Okay, that's a wall. I'm sure we have to go up here, right? We'll find our way eventually. I'm glad we at least don't have a rigid timer this time around. Not like it's ever bitten us in the butt before, you know, in the whole seven minutes of this game we've played so far. And down we go. Okay, so it looks like probably won't hurt you until it's a fully developed fire sprite. Either way, I've, I've taken a good chunk of damage. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be one of those kinds of games. Game over, really? Alright, you die once and it's game over. I dare say that's a little bit, uh... A little bit dire. You know, overbearing is perhaps the word that you would use to describe something of that nature. Wonderful figure this game out. We usually get to a point where we figure games out at uh, a basic level, right? I mean, I. I, I like, don't get me wrong, I don't mean to figure out how to play it. It's a very, very simple game. You jump, you kick, you punch. It's as simple as that. But, uh, everything else surrounding that is, uh, shall I say, simple. No, that's not what I was meaning to say at all. What I meant to say was, uh, you know, <laughs> the enemy movements and stuff, the patterns, how you best deal with various situations here. It's, ah, like that right there. It's testing me. Which is, I suppose, what a game should do, but, uh... I don't know. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be fully sold on this one by the end of it. I could be wrong. Games have proven me wrong before. But... This is kind of a sluggish endeavor. Hey look, it's Alyssa, Arzak, save the world. I am the only one who can save this world. Ooh, my strength has increased. Nice. We picked we picked the right path this time. What if we go straight down? Ooh, look at this. He's, he has the smallest arms that you've ever seen. Okay, how do you avoid that? My guess is you just walk away. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> 
Oh, the big fat green man has absolutely wrecked us. That's fine. We go in again because we have no other choice. We're stuck in this game for the next 60 minutes, whether we like it or not. Now, of course, the other question is going to be, what is going to be the floor for Genesis quality titles? We've gone through the Master System and we've seen the worst that that has to offer. We've seen the worst that the NES has to offer, which is honestly a lot of the time really bad. But how bad do Genesis games get? Will this wind up being one of the worst? I have no idea. We have a staggering amount of games ahead of us. So I can't possibly make that kind of assessment at this point. All I know is, out of all the games I've played, this is one of them. <laughs> it certainly uh, qualifies as a video game. It's just, you know, moving left and right is not the most winningest formula of all time. I mean, that's kind of what Altered Beast was, but even Altered Beast had better, you know, verticality than this. Thank you, Alyssa. Give me my big strength increase. Now I wish I knew how to regain health. I want to take the, the the green guy on again. I feel like I'm missing out on something here. We don't have a double jump. Our crouch is very, very short. I'm just trying to go through the game designer's box of tricks. So now what I have to know is, can I punch these balls that he throws at me or no? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well. <laughs> Is this the kind of boss where you're better off just getting in his face? Instead of trying to carefully dodge? I'm not certain. But we've got plenty of time to try to figure him out. And other things out. Again, keep in mind. Launch title. This is one of the early adopters here. Not an early third-party adopter. We won't have our first third-party game until uh, 1990. It was all the Sega show in, in 89. A couple third-party developers, but Sega published it all. It's not nearly as Sega-heavy as the Master System, though, which is... Just a handful of third-party published games for that one. I do still think going down here is our best choice, but I, I do not trust that maze level. Nice! Nice, nice, nice! Yeah, see, we're already figuring it out. Figuring out the rhythm. The little tricks of the trade. The only game I desperately want to play, but I don't own, Katamari Damacy. An absolutely exquisite game. Top shelf entertainment. And yet, let's just, let's try going to the Coliseum. Let's try taking just a, like a super roundabout route here. Because this guy's beatable. Like, he's not that hard. Oh, I should have ducked. That's my bad. Nah, nah. I think I'm getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You coax him in to walk towards you. Then you kick him. And then the second he threatens that, you just duck. Oh, he landed right on me, though. So, okay, he does, in fact, land at a certain point. Ah, yeah. And then he'll immediately turn around and kick you, too. So you do still have to finesse that a little bit. Yeah, as he's walking backwards, he'll then walk forwards, and that's when you go in on him, get down low for a kick, and then got him. And see, he... Okay, him, you regain health after. We've actually gained health overall. That's a net gain. That's important. Let's see, can we go back to previous levels? We can. But is there a reason to? You have to play through the whole level again? Yes, you do. Makes sense. 
don't worry, this this was just for the sake of science. I'm likely not going to uh, leverage this often. I mean, <laughs> maybe I will, who knows. But no, I don't know enough about the game to develop a firm strategy in terms of what I should be doing. Very good. Oh, dude! Oh, okay. Power increase. This, okay. Big stuff here. Now, is that persistent throughout the game? Can we go and make a mockery of this dude now? It appears to be persistent, you know? Oh, God. Once he, once he does that... Like, we can't get around it. We- Okay, we got him! He's blown up in a gooey explosion! That was the greatest death animation ever. Okay, so powering up really helps, is what I've determined here. That allows us to bypass the maze level. Oh, he's got multiple knives, I see. Makes sense. Okay, so the power-up function. Now that I know that that's a thing, it's something worth noting. I probably could have punched that axe out of the out of the air, right? Seems like the kind of thing that they would let you do. Dude, dude, <laughs> what? Did you? It, it looked like I was punching him so many times. The game's got slightly wonky hit registration. Oh, dude! Look at that. You just <laughs> you just go nuts on him. He's a man of much agility, 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 and spasms. I'm not even sure if I got him or not, but okay, next level. This looks like kind of a, uh, a dust bowl. Hey, it is. Oh, shit. You can tell that this guy doesn't give no dams or shits. How do we hurt him? Can you hurt him? We can. The flying kick worked. The flying kick did an okay number. Can you just like... Can you farm power? I hate making you watch the same thing over and over, but clearly if I keep dying, it's gonna happen anyway. So maybe I should see if I can just like... Play levels repeatedly and farm up power level. Because if you can... I get to the point where you're a uh, just super monstrous fighter. That seems like a good way to make it work. You know, can't beat the Elite Four with your level 5 EV. Just level it up to a level 75 EV and then you're good. Don't evolve it. Just <laughs> EV. Very, uh, slightly parallax scrolling in the back there. So yeah, now we, we just, uh... We can just kind of travel back and forth between these two levels and presumably keep gaining power. Not at the highest rate ever, but, you know, we, ha we, we have to try something, right? We have to try something to get the upper hand on this game, because clearly, in that little uh, Dust Bowl graveyard area, there's a real gatekeeper there, a real elitist, who is trying to tell me that Limp Biscuit isn't real metal. And until I power up and improve my ability to argue on the internet, he's gonna keep getting the best of me. We will go to the Coliseum, because this guy is, uh... Easy... eaten. Well, oh, I gotta remember to duck, though. Ah... Uh, I thought he was easy eaten. Eat? Much easier eaten than the other guy, that's for sure. Yeah, 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 just like that. We got him. We got him, man. Let me just walk away. Don't worry about super fancy action moves, man. Just a, just a gentle walk in the other direction. Can we, can we fight him multiple times? Probably. We'll have to try that. I guess we're not totally blocked off because we can go up through that, uh, that 
little mountain peak over there, but I do want to see if it's possible to farm power. That makes this a JRPG. Sorry, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> Leave me be! <laughs> you jerks. Got him. Try to fight him again. Nope. Okay, you cannot farm bosses. Noted. It's not a function of the game. We had to try it though, right? Okay, okay, there we go. Real power has entered the chat. And we are still gaining power on our power gauge there. It's not going up particularly quickly, but it is going up. That's the most important thing to note. However, we also want to take as little damage as possible, because I think the only way to heal is to beat bosses. And we gotta get through the green dwarf man. He's a real piece of garbage. What kind of fool would charge this dude? He's got the biggest six-pack known to man, and they're like, I can take him. Despite the fact that he is literally... ...discarding everybody else on the battlefield with one hit. He's taking axes to the face, and dying just like that. But everyone still thinks it's a good idea to take him on. Is it a machismo thing? Probably. I wanted you to meet Alyssa. <laughs> okay, so th that dialogue reoccurs. Good to know. Doesn't matter one way or another. I'm just here for the ride. I'm just here for the power gauge. I just need to see. Power level 2. Will it help us? It's gotta make the green man easier, right? Until, you know, you take all the damage from everybody and then... ...lose all your health bar because you were too busy grinding. And then, wow, what do you know? You just gimped yourself. Are we still gaining power? I can't even tell. You know what? I don't have the patience. Green man, you're next! You, you can't jump over it. It looks like you can. It legitimately does. But no, you just get triple hit by it. And then if you... Yeah, and then if you don't... Okay. He throws his balls at you. You've gained a little bit of health. Still a net gain. But... Nothing big. Yeah, and our power... Our power bar really isn't going up. Like, maybe a little bit, but... Not by any... Vital metric. Are these guys even doing damage to us? Or have we uh, surpassed the pain threshold? Do we no longer even wince at their baby like strikes? It does make me wonder. punched his axe, but it didn't do anything. Get out of my face, you. I guess we're fighting this man, aren't we? Okay. I can't duck under that, and I can't really jump over it, so that leaves us with a lot of options. That being to die or to die. Uh, yeah. Big fan. But I, don't, I really don't think we were gaining any more power. I didn't really see the bar move past that uh, one and a half ticks. Assuming F is a full tick. It must mean we have four total power levels, or maybe five. Counting this current one as a power level, despite it being not very powerful. Can I assume that there's one last one at the very end? 
I don't know if that's canonically accurate to Fist of the North Star, but it doesn't matter, because this is last battle. Scuffed Fist of the North Star. Dude. How about this? The Viking version, Fist of the North Star. It's also known as Vinland Saga. I haven't watched it, but, uh... Actually, I don't even think that Vinland Saga has anything to do with Vinland. <laughs> Which kind of throws my joke under the bus. Oh, what's that? You don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, go to Wikipedia, I guess. Not like I know what I'm talking about either. I've already admitted I have never watched it. <laughs> Alright. Gotta, just had to get your quick little swipe in, didn't you? Ah, that was way too close to him. That's more damage than I wanted to take on this boss fight. I, I, I can't stay so far away from him, because then... If I stay too far away, he gets an easy... ...shot in on me after he does his little flying squirrel routine. Yeah, 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 that, that's about perfect distance right there. And there we go. He swells up and explodes. Just like me when I don't take my antihistamines. I didn't take my antihistamines this morning. Oh. I'm sure I won't die. I'm gonna go through this level and then... Maybe I'll try cutting through the valley. See if that's advantageous at all. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? I die? Big whoop. I've done that several times already. Oh, you axe throwers. Dang bachelor parties in the 21st century. Everyone's got axe throwing. Everyone's like, I'm so manly, I throw the axe. I hire somebody to bring axes for me and then supply the wood. What's the matter? I want to become a hero, I know. Let's go back here. Uh, I know that there's nothing here for us, so we just leave. Let's... Okay, now this now suddenly there's a road here. Are we on to something? Have we discovered... Ooh, Luisa! Finally, the enemy has begun to move! At last, the time has come! Defensive power is increased! Hey, that's, that's great! Okay, well, now I, I can't go to the... so... Now I know. Well, let's go down here. Where we will hopefully power up. But we... That defensive power increase has got to be good, right? Yeah! There we go! Now we are indeed a man of, uh, much resilience. Your tridents do nothing to me. Look at these flurries of punches we've got. It's a goofy game, man. A goofy game from a simpler time. Back when people just wanted to kick and punch. Now you, what am I gonna do about you? I haven't learned anything new about you, just that uh, you're a piece of garbage and I hate you. Yeah, see, there's no reason to try to avoid... Oh! I avoided the blast. If you jump at just the right time, it looks like it is in fact possible to get out of there scot-free. And now, knife throwers. A step up from axe throwers, but uh, still pretty basic. It's like what, you found your dad's Swiss army knife and now you think you're a real badass? You think you're no one to be, uh, screwed with? No, I love all those old pictures found on, like, Facebook and MySpace of, like, 
poor loner kids who thought that they were like super dark. Like the classic one of this kid who's like, I have two personalities. One, nicest guy you'll ever meet. Probably a lie. Uh, two, twisted fucking psychopath. And he's holding like a grill lighter and it's lit up and he like painted his face or something. It's like, you're gonna, you're gonna regret looking at that picture. How do I know? Because it's, it's me. I'm in the picture. No, it's not actually me. I'm, I'm not the man responsible for that. Yeah, see, I can't duck. I can't go over it. I can't really kick him. What do you do about this guy? What am I missing? Is there something vital in the maze level that I am failing to understand? Like, I would understand if you just, like, had to get in and hit him at just the right time or something like that, but the fact that you can't really dodge his blasts has me saying I don't think that that's the case. They'd have to give you a little bit of leeway there, right? Just the slightest ability to say, hey, you can, you can survive. You just don't jump high enough, man. I'm racking my brain, I'm trying to think of things. The jump kick, I was able to get the occasional hit in on him with that, but if you can't get to him consistently without taking damage, then the jump kick doesn't matter. Like, dealing damage, it's irrelevant if you're taking too much. It's just basic mathematics. If one person's counting by three and another person's counting by one, person counting by three will make it to a hundred. 10 times out of 10. Unless you stab them in the neck while they're counting. That might be an idea. They would then no longer be able to count, and therefore you would make it to one faster. So there we go, I found it out. I have to stab him in the neck. Unfortunately, this game does not give you any blades or anything of the sort. You just got your fists and your feet. Which, don't get me wrong, they're pretty effective for this boss. Yeah, once you once you know his patterns, this dude's... Aw, oh, I can't believe I fell for it. I was just about to disrespect him, and then he... Blew into me. I even knew he was gonna do it. Can I exit off this side of the screen, please? Nope. <laughs> Gotta leave the right side of the screen, man. Alright. I can't go there yet, so I do have to finish this level and then go up to there. Then get the defensive increase. Which I have to assume is helpful. Stop it, thank you. Just, just punch. Just punch as fast as you can, my dude. No one here is gonna fault you for it. Oh! Deflected the axe, just clear out of midair. Oh! Punched the knife away when it was mere inches from the enemy's hand, or face, or something. I want to become a hero! I bet. Let's get out of here. Walk to the end, talk to the woman, gain a defensive boost. Next level, power up. Or maybe maybe you don't get a defensive increase and it's just and it's just the hero audibly saying to her, Defensive power has increased! There we go. Now we are a man of much culture and integrity. Now we will never be hurt again until we make it to that other boss who we apparently can't do anything about. Look, 
look at how our pecs sway. <laughs> God, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get over it, man. It's like, if you can, it's... You have just the tiniest margin of error on it. Here we go, three kicks, but it's, man, the amount of damage you take every time. Yeah, this game's got issues. A lot of stuff they really had to hash out. And you know what? After this, I'm gonna go north to the maze. I'm gonna see if maybe there is something at the end of the maze that will gain us a considerable advantage. See if maybe we weren't meant to beat that guy because we needed to finish the maze. It certainly doesn't hurt to, you know, theorize. Draw some hypotheticals. And we just have to put them into action. It's all science. I don't mean, uh, you know, exaggerate, but gaming basically makes you a scientist, you know? <laughs> uh... Yeah, maze. It's a terrible place to be, but, you know, I have a feeling that uh, the answer lies somewhere here. Am I jumping way faster or something? I feel like there's something I can do to like jump more intensely and I'm, then I'm just learning it out. Yeah! So don't move and, and then jump, jump and then move. Interesting that I've just found that out now. Okay. Okay. You can see the difference. It's a much more brisk jump that way. Well, okay, there was a wall there, so I couldn't quite clear that. Let's try going left, though. Bastards. Just bastards everywhere. I've somehow gained more life, and now I'm losing it at an incredible pace, as you can imagine. You know, being a man who is beset on all sides by arrows. What do you want me to do? Probably punch them or kick them, right? Nope. Okay, yes, actually. Sure, we fall. Yeah, that is wild, though. Once you realize that you can do that, uh... Just stand and then jump. It's so much more effective. Ah, we're gaining life every time we're punching one of these guys! I see! I see! That's very helpful. Good to know. Not just punching, but defeating. Okay. Excellent. Has that been an aspect of the game the whole time? I just didn't notice because I kept taking damage? It's possible. You know, I'm never one to, uh... Hide the fact that I might be a fool every now and then. That's a wall, so we'll just drop down. I'm not, not going that way, that's for sure. Ah, uh, these killed me last time. They're not gonna kill me this time, though. I have way too much health. Ah, uh, it's a trap. There's nothing here. Just a dead end. A dead end trying to kill you. That's, that's my way up. Perfect. How annoying. <laughs> we gotta crouch and punch, not crouch and kick. It's amazing how much worse the kick is than the punch in most circumstances, but then other times, the kick is like your only viable option. I feel confident that we can make it through the maze this time, though. Which means we'll be able to see if there's anything highly advantageous for us. Maybe we'll learn a new technique. Like, hey... Punch, not kick. We've established this. We've established this, I just can't establish it in my brain, you know? It's on paper, it's, it's not in practice. Yeah, I wanna go through that door. It's probably just people to kill, but hey, that's, that's health. Oh, I can't go through the door. Have I already been here? I don't know. I'm lost. Help. <laughs> Help me. I am lost. 
I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, Sega, for the wonderful video game. I am I am enjoying it. I'm glad I got this for Christmas and not Altered Beast. Jesus. There's so much fire. I can't go through that door even. Can I go through this door? Please, let me through a door. The game is no longer playing with me. It is now out for blood. This video is sponsored to you by uh, Back 4 Blood. The game that everyone wishes was left for dead, but just isn't. Okay. We're in the hardest um, sections here. Hey! I can't believe you're here! Save me! I want you to help me. Strength has returned. Is that all that does, though? I mean, now we st we still have to fight this dude. <sighs> what do we do? We just... Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I've... I don't know, man. Is this it? Do you just crouch and mash punch? Is that the trick? Does that fool him? Could I have done this the entire time? Well... Oh, no, no, no. If we're too far away, then he'll, then he'll probably do that. Ah, uh, come on. You bastard! Did you see that? Did you see how close I was? Oh my god. Ah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Last battle, I may have been too excited when I saw your name on the list. I was like, a game I've never heard of. Maybe it's great. I don't think it's great. Just, you know... Let's put that out there in the open right now. No sense in confusing anybody there. <laughs> hey. I mean, if if you really just love your walk to the left and the right and punch enemies on either side of your style of beat em up, I guess. Congratulations! It, it was here for you when the Genesis launched, but. Mmm. It's got, it's got some issues it's got to sort out. Or at least issues I would strongly recommend it sorts out before it uh, goes to Thanksgiving with the family this year. Alright. Let's just... Dig our heels in. I went to say dig my heels in one time in a casual conversation, and I uh, accidentally said dig my ankles in. The person just about lost their shit. They're like, how are you gonna do that, man? It's like, don't doubt my power. At least I'm getting this guy down, right? I don't even need to crouch, actually. That's, that's just to be extra fancy. We can even punch him. Ah, he got me! What a jerk. It's fine. Got a decent amount of health back, and now... Looks like we can't do our quick jump until we are powered up, but I'm gonna try to leverage it against the green meanie. And then I think going through the maze is still a good option, just because one, if you get through it with full health, which as long as you don't totally botch your way through it, you should be able to, you can ensure that you have full health for the follow-up boss, who is the biggest piece of shit this side of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Alright, though. Got him. Got him. 
got, uh, didn't get him. Arzark, my friend, thank you for the words. I've read them every time, and I assure you I love them. Ah, oh, jeez. You know what, though? Gotta reiterate. I still feel great pleasure in being able to, uh, play these old obscure relics from the past. It's one of my favorite parts of living in the here and now, in the information age and having the internet, is having basically unchecked access to the past. Dude, look at that! Look at that mid-air transformation! He's really going for it. Can't stick around for too long. We do have a timer here, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes I I wind up. Now it's not working. The jump isn't working. I wonder why. Do you like learn the jump after this fight when you need it the most? Ah, uh, like yeah. I don't know what the idea is here. Like, see, I so nearly got past him that time. But not quite. Ah, and then he just pulverizes you with everything he's got, and then... Okay. And now at this point, you're like, alright, I kind of have to go through the maze. Because if I don't, I'm going to have half health when I fight the boss, and okay. We've developed the flowchart for success, but executing on it is, uh... <laughs> a chore, we'll say. Oh my god, come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Works for me, works for me. Just, just get through it. I've run out of interesting things to say today. Uh, although, with this game, I didn't have that many to begin with here. Like, there's not, there's not a lot to comment on. It doesn't feel like a considerable step up from your average Master System title. It's prettier, sprites are bigger, there's fancier scrolling, but from a gameplay standpoint... Okay, so it appears... Is it that so much that we collected the ability to do this, or that uh, it's just something that you can only specifically do in this level? I know not. But I have many questions. And I leave feeling like my questions have not been answered. It's fine. We'll just. Let's do our thing. Collect as much health as we can, and then make it to the end, regain all of our health, and then. Try one more time with the boss. You want to try to get up to him and then crouch and just punch. I think that that's, that's the best tactic. It, it's absolutely caveman level tactics, but, you know, you do what you can with what you got. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think I may have taken a wrong turn. We'll get there eventually, you know. Just, just strap it. Strap it. Enjoy the ride. We'll... <laughs> this was certainly not the right direction. Alright, well... Just let me fall. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you like that mid-air shot at it? Yo. Yo. This is, uh, this is a fun video game. <laughs> uh, I don't need it. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked, video game. I didn't mean it. Uh, have I hurt your feelings? 
It's all right. We're gaining more life here. Is, you know, me thinks it could have been better designed. And I highly doubt that there are many last battle enthusiasts who are going to come defending that so viciously, especially 50 and a half minutes into the video. The amount of you who stick around this far is uh, very, very low. I have analytical evidence of that being the case, but for those of you who do, Big McThankies from McSpankies. Uh, this is, this is like the, uh, okay, that's right. If, if you go further to the right, then that is a, uh, a dead end. But we went up, which is the correct direction. Like, how much is it even worth fighting your way through them, and how much should you just damage boost your way through them? Which one is more worth your time as the player? Just keep holding forward, man. And what the heck? What do you mean? That it's a dead end. I thought this was this was the right direction. No, apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Well, I've I've been bamboozled thoroughly and completely. Supposed to go this direction. Did I do that last time too? Or like, how much am I in my own head right now? I don't know. When it, when it all looks the same, you just you lose your mind a little bit. Once I see the horrendous uh, walls of flame that prevent you from going any further, then you know you're on the right track here. So they don't prevent you, you just, uh, you just walk through the fire. Mm -hmm. This is quite it. Oh, I think it's it. Yeah, 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 yep, this is it. This, this should be the last screen of the maze. I, I took a slightly different approach this time. Thank you, ZB, give me all my health! Let's try this Joker again here. This is probably the last shot that we'll get at him, so I hope to accomplish something. Okay, this is good. Go uh, towards you like this. Complicate his AI a little bit, make him second-guess himself as a human being, and a robot. But get out of that blast, for sure. Dude. <laughs> uh, maybe we're better off kicking? Ah, uh, don't get caught in that, like I just did. No, no. Just, can we not kill him? Am I- am I missing something? He stopped taking damage! You saw that, right? We heard the sound that meant I hit him, he went boom, he got knocked back, and his health bar stayed right where it was. Hold on, I gotta look this up. Just for, you know... The sake of knowing. Hold on. Um, it doesn't say anything about him not being able to die. But then again, this is a old, probably bad <laughs> uh, FAQ from GameFAQs. I don't know if you want to call it an, uh, an FAQ or just call it a fact. <laughs> but jeez, no, it looks like we... We received, we received pretty much every upgrade that we could possibly get. Punches do well here. When his life is nearly gone, 
You'll have to finish him off with a standing punch. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> For what purpose? I'm I'm so upset. That's that's gonna dock you several points right there, game. I was already lukewarm on you, but that that's just uh That's unnecessary. <laughs> oh man. Well last battle everybody. The kind of game that actively messes with you. I... I have nothing else to say, you know? At least nothing positive. Yeah, I know there are worse games out there, but come on. This is the Genesis trying to make a uh, first impression on me here. So far we've had Alex Kidd, this, and Altered Beast. An Altered Beast, you know, actually. Genesis Altered Beast. That had a lot of charm to it. I'll give you that much. Alex Kidd could have been better. Wasn't bad. But wasn't that good either. <laughs> I'll fight the boss I know I can fight competently. Cause he's easy. How does it feel, being the easy boss, my man? I've never once died to you. Even the first time, you couldn't get one over on me. Okay, well, you did do a little bit of damage to me that time. Congratulations. Man, I'm just deflated. I could have beaten him had I just stood up and punched once. Unreal. And no, it's not cheating. For all you keeping score at home, I knew there was no chance I'd, I'd even make it to him again after that attempt. I just had to know. Give myself some closure and give you, the viewer, some closure. So that you're not sitting there wondering what the heck happened along with me. Yeah, you could look it up yourself, but come on, so much more convenient if I do the hard work for you. I just, I can't believe it, man. In a way, I can. <laughs> but, uh... You're never truly done with bad game design. Especially in retro games. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is most certainly such thing as poorly designed modern games as well, but typically... You have a higher floor than the, uh, <laughs> the older games do. I'm gonna be complaining about this one for years to come. Probably not true. I don't think this game's gonna leave that much of an impression on me one way or another. All I know is... <laughs> I don't like you. <sighs> well, at least with the launch lineup, I think it's pretty much just uphill from here. Famous last words, though. I could be proven wrong. I'm real excited to get to some of the, uh, the most fabled Genesis shmups, because it's got some real bangers on deck. A couple of them are even in the launch lineup, I think. If I am reading these, uh, game lists properly, properly parsing out the titles here. Yeah, how do, how do you avoid that? You have to get up close to him to punch him. If you get up close to him, he does that. And if you don't get up close to him... Oh, actually, that kind of avoided him easily. That's probably the best I've fought him, actually. And now we go on to the next stage just in time for the video to time out. Yeah, that, that, that is time. <laughs> nice place to end it there as we're getting slashed in the arm. Yeah, not impressed with Last Battle. That one's... That one's got issues for sure.
like you gotta do something very specific i mean i know standing and punching is not that obscure of a move but man oh sorry gotta punch him while you're standing or else he's just immune to damage give me a break and even everything up prior to that point isn't the greatest you know it uh, it's a game that fails to leave much of a positive impression one way or another. But, hey, got it out of the way early. At least we got that to say. And on that note, our next game in the pipeline is going to be Space Harrier 2. Now, I'm not a big fan of Space Harrier on the best of days, but at the very least, this should theoretically be hardware that can actually handle Space Harrier. Uh, and we haven't played two before. We've played one and 3D, both on the Master System. And it's almost a guarantee Space Harrier 2 on a 16-bit system will have to be a marked improvement over both of those. So, join me for Space Harrier 2. If you've stuck around until the end of Last Battle here, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Uh, if, if you would be so kind as to leave a like button if you have not viewed these videos before, uh, feel free to subscribe. Keep up to date. I try to upload a video a day, so it's a constant stream of content. But either way, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.